this is me and welcome back to another video. Today I have another challenge as me and today I'm doing vaulting. And I'm here with the English vaulting squad. Back in September at the Pony Magazine Big Day Out, I was lucky enough to watch the England vaulting squad and they invited me over to their stables to film today's Challenge Esme. Vaulting is a sport that people have done for over 2,000 years and today I was really excited to try it, but first I had to do a full-on workout routine. Having never done vaulting before, I had no idea how long it took these athletes to warm up, if that was doing doing lots of different exercises and stretches. We were doing it for about 45 minutes. I'm already tired and we haven't even started. <laughs> So it turned out that I wasn't quite as flexible as I used to be when I did gymnastics when I was eight. I don't want to snap yet, but. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna lie. Wasn't quite expecting a full half an hour, 45 minute workout when I first arrived here, but it was good fun. I feel like I'm gonna ache tomorrow because I've used muscles that I have not used in a long time. I used to do gymnastics like years and years ago when I was like, what, eight? So a lot of it did come back to me but also it made me realize that I'm definitely not as flexible as I thought I was. I've had a little watch of the guys on a static barrel here and that looks mildly terrifying and it's not even on a moving horse. So I'm gonna have a go now. I'm excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous. How, how, how am I gonna do that? <laughs> If I told you I was ready right this minute Do you think that it would turn you around? I just feel like you need to move If I told you I was ready right this minute Would you just run off and tell Alright, so I'm now here with Lexi who's going to be my instructor for the day. So, what are we doing? Um, so we're going to teach you some stuff on the static barrel first. So we work our way up, so this one's obviously not moving. We are very lucky that we've got a moving barrel just through here as well. That's level so, two then. Um, level yep, two, level definitely. Two. <laughs> so we'll work on level one, go to level two, and then when we're comfortable there, we'll get the horses out and have a go with that, which is level three. Yeah. So we're going to start with this one first. Awesome. We've got a little springboard here as well, is that how I get on? It is indeed, so okay. I can also give you a bunk, um, but when you've got the horses out it's a lot easier because you've got the momentum when you're running towards them to jump, but on the static ones it is pretty tricky without it, okay. so we'll give you a little bit of help to start with. Yeah. Yeah, super, fantastic. Nice. So, um, next time you're going to have your legs really nice and straight because everything you do in vaulting, you have to be straight legs, pointed toes. Pointed toes definitely wasn't something I was used to hearing when it comes to the equestrian sports I've done in the past. Super good, yeah. So don't worry about going to your knees. Okay. Just see if you can swing to a bit of a plank. Can I just sit back down for me? And give it a go with this leg, so this leg's going to go all the way to the outside. That's it. And then come back with a really nice straight leg all the way in there. Fantastic. Good job. How's that feeling? Once I was comfortable on the stationary barrel, it was then time to go onto Woody the mechanical horse. And oh my goodness, how mesmerizing is this to watch? Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'm going to be the greatest from my name in stone. From my name in stone. Yeah, super. Oh, okay. That's it's not as complicated. No, it's not. I can't quite say I was as graceful as everyone else. However, the feeling on Woody compared to the static barrel was very different. You really had to be in tune with his movements and his rhythm and timing everything absolutely perfectly because you had to use the horse's momentum to help you do the movements. Super, that's it. And then And before I knew it, I was moving on top of a cantering mechanical horse. Yeah, super! Hey! Good it. I even had a go at some of the more fancier high strength moves, and oh my goodness, all the blood went straight to my head. My arms were shaking a little bit, but I was so proud of myself. Fantastic. I couldn't quite say the same thing for getting on. Here's a little game called When Will Esme Actually Get On? Oh, she goes. Oh, no, she chickens out. Oh, will she go again? Oh, she kind of stops. Oh, she's gone for it. Oh, oh, the big lump has just about got on. That's it, up to you. 
However, once I was actually on the horse and doing the movements, I didn't look half bad and I really started to get used to the rhythm. And also, there was a lot of balance involved. Yeah, you got it, that's it. And then you can, if you're feeling comfortable, put that one out behind you. Super, that's it. Look at that, amazing. Making it look so easy, good job. I then had a go while Woody was moving and oh my goodness, my left front shin where I was leaning against the handle had a massive bruise on afterwards where I'd been leaning against it. And yeah, I definitely wasn't making it look too easy. <laughs> so this is Ginge, he is 17 one I believe, so He's quite tall. I'm going to be quite high up today. He's the um, first horse I'm going to be having a go at vaulting on. Obviously, I've had a go on Woody, the mechanical horse. But we've got a real one here. He's just had a little bit of a warm up. Um, he's also 16 and is an Irish sports horse. And he is gorgeous. What a sweetie pie. This is starting to feel a little bit more real now that I'm doing it on an actual horse but hopefully he should be a very good boy and look after me. For vaulting, we don't use a saddle. There's actually a back pad instead. And this is made of carbon fiber. So it means that when you're on top, it's very shock absorbing. Also underneath, we have a jelly pad as well to make sure that uh, ginge here is nice and comfy. We also have the roller as well that has handles for me to hold on to. So hopefully I won't be sliding off. Um, there's also some sponge here, which is so nice and squidgy too. And I'm not gonna lie, it feels very strange standing next to a horse wearing vaulting shoes because I'm used to wearing, you know, leather riding boots and it feels like kind of like wearing ballet shoes. <laughs> so um, luckily, uh, Ginge here is a very good boy. Hopefully he won't stand on my toes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited to ride him. Also still, just, just, just a little nervous. Hope it should go fine, it should go fine. We'll start off and walk. We're not gonna go straight into canter. <laughs> I managed to pick up Ginger's rhythm pretty quickly and started to do all the movements that I previously did on Woody and the static barrel. The second time I did the movements I felt a lot more confident and even tried standing up on top of Ginge while he was walking. Luckily I did have Lexi next to me just in case I fell but oh my goodness it felt so incredible. Before I knew it I was putting all of my past bareback experience experience into practice because I was cantering on Ginge and slowly took my hands off as well. Doing the movements took a lot of concentration, really focusing on my rhythm and my balance, but I managed to get there. And I even did something that I never thought would be possible. I was cantering on a horse while standing up. I might have had Karis there to hold me just in case, but oh my goodness, I cannot explain how incredible this feeling is. To be at one with an animal so big and to put all your trust in them, it just felt magical. My goodness, I've just finished my first ride on Ginge. Would you like a kiss? You are very affectionate, aren't you? I had so much fun, oh my goodness. It's really strange because the first time you do it, it feels a little bit on the edge, if you know what I mean. Um, it's like that thing where you kind of have to go all in to do the movements. You can't do anything, you know, half. You have to go full. So I had to be a little bit brave. I got there. The second time you do it, it felt a lot more natural and I kind of understood a little bit more. And when I first got on him, I had to get used to his canter as well. He felt a little bit different to Woody, didn't you mate? Yeah, but he was really good, really looked after me. And I, I did, I'm pretty proud of myself. I did, I did some pretty scary stuff and I didn't fall off, so it's all good. Well done, so I think we're gonna have a bit of lunch and then later I might have a go on a different horse called Harry, so yeah. 
Even more to do. Well done, mate. It was so good, yeah. <laughs> After lunch, Millie made us the most incredible cake to have. So I thought I'd just show you because it was so good. So I'm now here with Susie and Harry. So Susie, thank you so much again for inviting me. Um, she is the boss of the English vaulting squad. And also um, you were helping out doing the lunging as well, making sure that when I was riding Ginge that he wasn't going off anywhere. We didn't want him to. Yeah. So tell me a little bit more about Harry here. Uh, so Harry is show name is Demeza. He is 18-2, our biggest pony oh, wow. on the yard. <laughs> he's built like a bit of a beast too, bless him. Aww. But he's a big friendly giant. Aww. He loves a little bit of fuss. Um, so he's really special to us. He's been to a WEG already oh, in wow. 2018. He went to try on and we flew him out. So that was great, he's trying to get my treats. <laughs> you sneaky. And um, yeah, so we he went there and ever since he has been our team squad vaulting horse. So with vaulting, it's um, obviously I'm a beginner, this is totally new to me, so I've been wearing a helmet for it, but why yeah. do vaulting riders not wear helmets when they're riding? We're an FBI equestrian sport, so mm -hmm. we're fully under FBI rules. We train on a, a proper surface and uh, with proper qualified coaches and proper trained horses. So in that respect, we don't have to uh, officially wear our helmets to do that. It also takes us off balance in most of our freestyle moves if we're doing freestyle and some of our compulsory moves because it's quite heavy on our heads. Our heads are heaviest part of our body anyway. And then if we're balancing from one side to the next, it's quite difficult to stay in balance on a horse, cantering mm -hmm. around in a circle. Yeah. But everything's nice and safe and nice and trained. We train all the horses as well as the children, as mm -hmm. well as our, our newly qualified coaches. Yeah. Sneaky. And also you have Woody, the mechanical horse. And I found it, um, it's really good that you were saying how you always get people to try their moves on Woody first before they go onto a real horse. And then, you know, if the move doesn't end up well on the mechanical horse, you know, you can't do it on a real one. Yeah, so we're really lucky to have a mechanical horse here at, at the English Vaulting Squad and we fundraised quite a lot for that, which was really great. Definitely trying on our, all our moves on the static barrels and then we're lucky enough to have it onto the movie barrel, onto Woody. Yeah, if something's not going right, you know then you don't have to waste lots of time on the horse making mm -hmm. it correct or not and we can work out on the movie. <laughs> and what else does Harry and Ginge do apart from vaulting? Because obviously that's not what they're doing every single day, is it? No, absolutely not. So they only vault probably twice a week, three times at the most, um, on circles they do lots of packing out they do lots of schooling in our school uh, when we can get out and about we take Harry for some dressage oh. not me personally carries <laughs> one of our vaulters oh. she does that for us and she quite enjoys that mm. so what would you say makes a good vaulting horse the horses probably have to have nice temperaments anyway mm. in themselves so they're nice and calm relaxed uh, not always the case but much better if they can be they need a nice steady canter a bit like harry just like a big friendly giant nice <laughs> and big to take the team or the individuals not always have to be big you know if you've only got little bolters you don't need yeah. an 18 hand horse <laughs> uh, but something that will lunge nicely on a circle and then go out and do different jobs as well Aww. keep nice and happy so should we get him out and have a little go on him yeah too? that sounds perfect fabulous awesome. ready to work <laughs> oh, what a good boy. You can tell that all the horses here just absolutely love all the fuss for all the riders. We've got a whole team of people to give you cuddles, kisses and treats. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Before I got on Harry, it was time to warm up again and the squad wanted me to practice a few more moves and one in particular that was new. The best way I can describe this is it felt like doing cheerleading on top of a horse. Not that I've ever done cheerleading before, but I had to be the base that had to be really strong, stable, balanced. And the team must have had a lot of faith in me because they were like, yep, we're gonna do this on a horse later. To distract me from the thought that I might end up uh, causing someone to fall off a horse, we then went through my routines and then once I was on Harry, I knew exactly what I would be doing and at what point. As well as brushing up on my technique before I got onto the horse. So Karis, you are an equine vet as well as a member of the squad here. Tell me a little bit more about what you do here with vaulting. Um, yeah, so I look after all of our ponies on a day-to-day -day basis here, looking out, feeding and riding them 
more than exercise in the mall, as well as obviously training with the squad um, and individually. So you do like the hacking with them and the dressage and a little yeah. bit of everything to keep them happy. And um, tell me a little bit more about your plans for the year and your past success. So I did the WEG in 2018 in Tryon um, with the team, which was an amazing experience. Oh, wow. It was so good with Harry as well. Um, this year has been quite a successful year, the year's just gone. Um, so I won the Welsh Championships and the British Championships and we had a really successful trip out to Arken as well. Oh, cool. Um, coming up this year, our main aim is Denmark, um, is Herning in July, um, individually and with the team as well. Oh, best of luck for that. Thank you. After that, I got on Harry and although it was only my second ever time on a vaulting horse, I felt so much more confident doing all the movements, finding Harry's rhythm, it just felt amazing. After only a day of trying out vaulting, I can really see the appeal. If that's the adrenaline rush of flying through the air, balancing at great heights on a moving animal or perfecting your technique to make everything perfect. But most of all, it has to be the team atmosphere that makes everything possible. Everyone here was so lovely and it really did feel like a family. The connection everyone has here with the horses is just beautiful and I honestly couldn't believe how much trust they had in me to do this movement. And I still can't get over how mesmerizing these vaulters are to watch. part of the squad and is also a university student so tell me a little bit more you were saying earlier that you have a scholarship. Yes um, so I'm currently studying criminology um, which is amazing um, at the University of Gloucestershire so I'm based in Cheltenham which isn't too far away so that's really good. I managed to bag um, a place on the scholarship programme which is absolutely incredible. Awesome. Um, I'm so fortunate um, the level of support is just amazing. And you must be really busy as well, you know, doing university alongside with an elite sport such as vaulting. How do you manage it all? Yeah, um, so I definitely keep on, you know, I 100% keep on top of it all. So the minute I finish a lecture, get that work done. Yeah. Um, I have a very strict routine, so I wake up in the morning um, and I do my fitness, my stretching, um, come training and then do a bit more work. So that's oh, really awesome. Yes. <laughs> very busy then. Yes. <laughs> so Lexi, thank you ever so much for having me here today. I've had so much fun and yeah, vaulting is just absolutely awesome. But the real question is, how did I do for today's challenge, Esme? You did amazing. Genuinely really confident, which is really nice. And as you were saying, it's the kind of sport where you can't half-heartedly go into things. Yeah. If you start to think too much, that's when you start to overthink. Yeah, um, all or nothing. Exactly. You just have to go for 100%. it. hundred <laughs> percent. And that's what you did. So that was really good. And every time you did something, you did it again and did it so much better, which is really oh, nice awesome. to see. So Thank really you so good. much. You're Thank welcome. you. Um, well, it's down to your excellent coaching as well. Oh. So. <laughs> and if people want to have a go at um, vaulting, where can they have a look? Um, so if they look on the British Equestrian Vaulting website, there's um, a little segment where you can look at the clubs that are local to you um, and it gives you a little map and the clubs that are available in the Oh, countries. awesome. So I'll leave a little link up on the screen and down below as well if you guys want to check that out. Just like to say a huge thank you again to the English Vaulting Squad for having me. Uh, thanks to you guys for watching today's video. If you're new or haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye!